week. It's Wednesday. The time is seven minutes before seven o'clock. Fifty comfortable degrees out there. There is some there are some high clouds that are going to come through this morning, giving way though to mostly sunny skies this afternoon. Mid 70s down into around 60 tonight, so it's going to be a warmer night. And then for tomorrow, uh, woo, we're moving along on this camera right here. 81 degrees with um, mostly sunny skies for your Thursday. Thursday evening, Thursday night, there might be an evening shower. Uh, the corporate challenge should be okay, but eight, nine o'clock, can't rule out, rule it out. Okay, there we go. Some of the clouds are going to thicken up for a bit this morning, and then we will give way to mostly sunny skies, as I mentioned, as we head into the afternoon. But again, a thicker deck of clouds rolling in and then rolling right on out. So by this afternoon, it's gorgeous temperatures into the 70s. Uh, tonight, a warmer night with just some high clouds moving through, and we're going to get into the uh, upper 70s, low 80s. Future Look wants to paint a few showers. Um, other model simulations don't agree. Uh, it might be too warm in the upper atmosphere for much storminess, but we can't rule out, uh, rule out a slight chance of a shower tomorrow, late afternoon or evening. A far better chance overnight Thursday night into Friday morning, and then those will quickly pass off to the east, leaving us with pretty nice weather. It looks like Friday afternoon with temperatures in the 70s. And then all signs are pointing towards a temperatures close to average Friday, Saturday, but then we go well above average Sunday, and especially Monday into Tuesday and Wednesday, 85 to 90 degree weather is possible here. And that could last a while, okay? And um, humidity increasing too. It's gonna be a southwesterly flow. So humidity and temperatures on the rise next week. As you can see here, close to 90, both Monday and Tuesday. Uh, 70s today, 80s tomorrow. There are the showers Thursday night into Friday morning, and then it should be drier in the afternoon. Then for uh, the weekend, really nice on Saturday, Father's Day, near 80 or so. Uh, the Juneteenth Parade looks really nice. Mm -hmm. um, Monday, yeah, and Tuesday, the start of something hot <laughs> with the temperatures getting to the hottest levels of the season so far next week. Well, some like it hot. Some do. I'm so ready for it, though. It's just been kind of dreary and cold and yucky. Do you so know, though, mm -hmm. one of our warmest springs on record? And my, the, this one? Yep, yep, it's true. Because our overnights have been warm. Oh. We haven't had a lot of heat, but on average, it's, I know you wouldn't even begin to think that, but like March, April, and May, very warm. Well, we didn't get that last bit of winter that we typically get the first half of spring, too. Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I was, I was like, what? Yeah. And I looked, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's one of the warmest. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us for Daybreak. Our news continues now at WGRZ.com. Bye, everybody.